let's take a look at my uh, binary counter made out of relays. These are um, to toggled flip-flops, and there are six of them, and I have, it's going to be six bits here. So this is going to be uh, least significant digit over here. One, two, four, eight, sixteen, and thirty-two there. And you can keep going as, as high as you'd like with those. So um, now what I did here is I I have 24 volt supply and these are all 12 volt relays and the reason I did that is because at some point the uh, the two relays are in series with you, with each other and they won't uh, turn on unless we have 24 volts on it I'm actually running it at about 20 volts so um, help out the relays a little bit um, they will get hot if you're running the 12 volt relay on, on 24 volts but uh, it seems to be working pretty good and uh, doing it this way I can get by with two relay, relays. I've done it in the past with four relays, and then you could just run it, uh, you know, four 24 volt relays or 12 volt relays, whatever you like. But uh, I labeled these uh, one through 12, R1 through R12, and you'll see on the data sheet or the on my notes there how I did it. And then I, I came back here and I I triggered this one first, and then these in in this line, so I have my. Uh, um, so that the least significant digit will be on on the right and then it'll go to the left there so and uh, so we'll give it a try to to uh, add I have a just a, a rotary dial here so let's put a one in I got a one right there and then let's put a, a four in that should give me five four and one okay and then let's go uh, all the way to ten there and uh, let's go Put another four in there and do another four and what do i need eight there let's go to eight there okay and then uh, one more should put me over here to the uh, 32 place here there we go and then let's go 16 10 and 6 okay and then we'll do an eight for this one and then a four and uh, a two and a one and then when it gets to the end if I had more relays I could have more uh, bits coming in there but uh, for right now it's just gonna go put one more in there and it's gonna go back to zero and then and then start all over again so it's working fine and it works with the uh, just the rotary dial there to put my pulses in there so uh, we'll take a look at the, uh, the diagram here so here we are here Can you see that let me make that a little bit bigger there all right so this is the um, these are the two two relays this is one in one in R1 and R2 that's on the left hand side but let's start with uh, these here now this is going to be actually be uh, you know um, R11 and R12 here but I'm just using two of them for right now but uh, that's where we're going to put our trigger in this this switch here that's our rotary dial right there okay now these dashed lines here this there is a connection between this uh, 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 normally closed contact and this this open contact here but that's between one and five here and that's through it's wired internally into the relay. That's why I have the dash line there. There is, you know, going to be current flowing through there, but it's uh, it's internal to the to the relay. Same with this one here. So, eight and and twelve there. Okay. So here's eight and here's twelve, and that's how it's connected through there. So, but uh, what happens here is when we we close the uh, switch, it energizes uh, R4. And that puts R3 in series with R4, okay? But the, when the switch is closed, it shorts out R3 here. This is going to be shorted out through here. And uh, so for now, R4 is on and R3 is off when this is when this is depressed. But when you open the switch, both R4 and R3 are latched on. Okay, so then these are going to be both latched on. And you close the switch again, and it shorts out R4, okay? Turning it off. And we open up the switch both r4 and r3 will will be off okay so how it works is we we close and open the switch both relays are latched on 
we cl close and open switch again and both relays are latched off so it's just going to be a uh, you know flip-flop toggle so either they're going to be both on or both off okay now when this is off that's going to be the binary one okay so in order to make that a binary one when this is off is i have this little uh, inverter here okay just a diode and a, and a, uh, a pnp transistor here okay so what happens here is when this is off uh, uh, no current can you know the, the, it's not biased here it's, this the gate is low here so uh, i'm getting voltage right through the uh, current through the led here and it's on when this comes on the uh, the gate is biased on and it bypasses the diode so the diode is off so simple as that we just uh, i just wanted to invert it because uh, the uh, in fact the light on here it's got a little green light on here and that shows up when there's a you know when the bit is zero and i wanted to show up when it's uh, you know when it's on okay so that's all there is to that and then this is how we we can wire it together here now on these relays uh 13 and 14 are the uh, uh the uh, coil okay so here it is over here and uh on a when you see the 13 and 14 that indicates that it's a NEMA convention coil, okay? And they do that so that, uh, you know, single pole, double pole, triple, and, uh, you know, quadruple pole relays will, will all work and have the same numbers, okay? Now, some of the some of the relays come just one through eight, and that's fine too, but uh, for this here, I'm, the uh, 14 and 13 are the, the coils on here. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's all there is to it. Of course, you know, I did this side here, with, with the least significant number and then they they go up here uh with higher power of two going going to the to the left and uh yeah so uh that's that's all there is to it it works good and uh we'll try it again so That's 10, 16, go 10 again, and 16, there we go, we got 32 over there, and then uh, 10, and 6, and then we'll go with an 8, and a 4, and let's just go with a 3 here. There we go. So that's uh, that's my binary counter, and uh, don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's uh, it's just fun to to work with, fun to play, and uh, you know, <laughs> thank thank you. <laughs>